apparently this place is haunted. I hate the word haunted. Good morning. It's a lovely day out in Dorking. Sun shining, it's warm, and uh, I brought you to a favourite place of mine. I was here actually at the same time last year with uh, my friend Richard, the bald explorer, because we're back at Beckforth Castle. The castle was originally an 11th century structure, founded by Richard Fitz Gilbert, but this structure is 14th century and constructed by Sir John Fitz Allen. Let's have a little look around. This building was demolished in 1791. It's unfortunate you can't get in because there's railings all around. Because apparently there's some underground structures like cellars and it's very unstable. I thought it was about falling masonry, but I think it's more to do with underground uh, and what was there. It's an amazing, amazing ruin. It seems sort of so out of place. We've got the river mole just down there. We're high up on a ridge. So there could have been an ancient settlement here well before. In 2008, Mole County Council sold the site for just one pound to this guy who's going to renovate it, which I think is fantastic. One pound for this, for an ancient monument. Incredible. Those who have walked the new Deep Dean Trail will know this is actually now part of the Deep Dean Trail. Because uh, Beckworth Golf Course is just down there, private golf course. Although I was here last year, the last time I came after, before that was uh, 2009 and we got told off by a load of golfers while we were crossing their land. Well, we found Betford Castle, but we weren't allowed really to go up there because we're on private property within the golf club, which is not on the information that we had. Um, and all these um, well-to-do golfers actually went and called the um, ground security man to come out and uh, have a word with us. A polite word, he was very nice. But, um, well, we saw it. As always with these kind of places, there's lots of stories of ghosts. Apparently this place is haunted. I hate the word haunted. That's coming soon, a rant about paranormal words. Um, there's a black dog that's been seen here, obviously at night. It's always at night, isn't it? <laughs> Another tale is of a guy called Lord Hope, who uh, back in the day was chasing an escaped convict, got into a fight and accidentally killed him then realising it was his own son that he killed and he still is around and active around this area. If you want to know more about the uh, paranormal claims of Surrey, please buy my book Paranormal Surrey. It's all in there. That's a cheap plug, I know. There's just something so poetic about old ruins. It's always nice seeing them in their original structure, but there's something about a ruin that is just gorgeous. I don't know if you can see it, uh, in the distance is Beckforth Quarry with the lime kilns. Okay, head on. Okay, let's have a little walk around the front and have another look. It's a lovely day. What I was saying about an ancient uh, settlement here, there is evidence, uh, I've just seen on the plaque, there is evidence that there was an Iron Age hill fort here. So that sort of makes total sense with the river mole beho uh, below, uh, up on a high ridge, makes total sense. 
there's um, some notices about what they're planning to do here it would be great to get as much um, of the structure refurbished as possible but I think it's too far gone really especially when you're talking masonry that's no, very very expensive as I said earlier there's something there's a poetry about a ruin an absolute poetry just wish we could walk around it inside when I was at St Lawrence last week uh, looking around an old church I was talking about this network of ley lines in Surrey that uh, connect all these ancient sites it um, be interesting to see if there's any sort of earth energy here that flows through you know another reason why these ancient structures especially if they're uh, Neolithic were built where they were built did ancient man have much more heightened senses to the um, to the atmosphere and to energy you know I don't like using that word energy but it's really interesting you know, why were structures built where they were built you know sometimes in the middle of nowhere take Windmill Hill for example at Avebury you know up, it's up on a ridge but it's not that high but why build it there um, so yeah I can smell urine I think for animal urine I should say I'm sure it's animal urine okay I'm just gonna try a little experiment I'm a dowser Nothing to do with looking for water. Uh, I'm more interested in earth energy. I'm just going to see if these rods can uh, answer a question for me, which is if it's a positive, they always cross. If it's a negative, they stay out. Is there an earth energy flow at Beckworth Castle? Is there an earth energy flow that goes through Beckworth Castle? Thank you. Can you tell me which way it flows, please? Can you tell me which way it flows? That way. This makes sense. It's coming from up there. Can you show me where it flows from, please? Can you show me where it flows from? Which way does it flow? Thank you. Most people have dowels and rods, they hold them up that way. I hold them down that way. Just preference, isn't it? So yeah, let's just try that again. Is there an earth energy flow? Earth energy current coming through Beckworth Castle, please. Is there an earth energy current coming through Beckworth Castle? Thank you. And which way does the current go, please? Which way does the current go, please? That's quite strong. Yeah, down there. Thank you. That's dowsing for you, kids. One other thing I've been doing this morning is testing out my new camera. It's the Canon M50, um, which everyone was exploding about last year. Really good camera. Dual pixel focus, really good focus, autofocus. Um, and just uh, testing it out. I'm really enjoying it. I'm still making a mistake because we've got a flip out screen of looking at the flip out screen and not the lens. Now, I've been a filmmaker for 25 years. I should know that better. So I'm about ashamed of myself about that. So um, I now know. It's getting used to a new camera, isn't it? You know, you're getting used to its personality and the personality of the camera is getting used to you. So um, yeah, it's been, it's been good. Oh, come to a dark place. But yeah. Um, I'm really enjoying this camera, really enjoying it. Um, been meaning to upgrade for about a year. I'm still using the GoPros for some footage. And um, look at that. So I hope you enjoyed this little trip around Betchworth Castle. If you've liked it, please subscribe. Please leave a comment. I'm always interested to hear more facts about these places and we'll see you next time. <laughs>